Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Fujio one I have a theory before I start my video. The more videos I make, the more likely I'm going to become t more views, more likely to get more subscribers. So if I do like waves of videos, I might be able to get more help on my like, comments when I'm like a general question like, should I get steel drums or an iPad? Most likely it's going to be an iPad, but who knows. Um, so let's get into this. Um, so really this video is on uh, should I get an, uh, steel drums or should I get an iPad? Now most likely your thoughts and opinions are going to be way too late before it's even going to matter. So, but I, I just thought I would even try it just, you know, just to get a feel for this idea of mine. I always have these crazy YouTube videos and I really never follow up on them, but let's try it anyway. So, steel drum in my opinion is a really cool sounding instrument. Which I've always kind of looked up to. Um, not really looked up to, but whenever I heard I really, like, it was a really relaxing sound to me. And I just thought, it might be kind of fun. I, I remember, uh, my parents gave me a drum set of, uh, when was that? Christmas of, like, 2003 or something. When I was, like, 9 or 10. Something like that. I think I was around 2004, maybe. Anyway, it was a really kiddie set, but it, 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 it was a drum, etc. And I never really played it. But, in a way, it was just because I never really got the lessons or anything to really advance in this. It's like with the ukulele right now. I mean, unless I have a friend, I mean, if I didn't have a friend, or if I wasn't, or if I didn't have the money to get lessons or the, or the money to get a book, I mean, what was I supposed to do? It's just a piece of wood. I mean, the best thing I can do is to get some humor out of this. So, the best thing I could do with this, unless otherwise to play music, which, trust me, music by music, you feel really good when you can do it like the few chords I could play, even though it was on tune, you feel kind of good. I mean, the best thing I could do with this thing is pretty much go up to my friend and be like, hey, let's smash this $35 straight and be like, bam, and record it and then upload it to YouTube. That's the best scenario I can think of with this piece of wood. I mean, unless you want to like be pyromaniac, pyromaniac and just like put it in burst of like some type of collateral damage to this thing or or immense damage to this thing and be kind of funny. Um, or even trying, maybe even smacking someone in the back of the head and record in slow motion, maybe. And it probably really, honestly, this thing is any, this thing is hollow anyway. So I mean, probably really wouldn't even hurt that much anyway. But it's like the fake glass they use on people in the back of the head movies. Anyway, so what I'm saying is, uh, it would I I'd probably be even willing to spend the money onto it plus on top of books lessons like I did for Japanese, etc. when I'm really into something. Um, I like the ukulele, I'm not even going to doubt that. My parents like, well, let's see if we can do the ukulele first. So I'm like, alright, no, not really. I'm like, all right, kind of outside, but I'm like, I want the steel drums right now because I can actually buy them or buy, the, buy one at the moment. But uh, yeah, I think it would be really fun, but uh, I think another reason it's a drum, which I, which I kind of like better because I can I can move my hands pretty fast. I like rhythm too. Um, I think it's much easier for me to learn. This I mean this is fun. I'm not trying to say it's not fun. Okay, but like you have to move your fingers around and it's just kind of difficult. I mean it's only been day one for me, so this is like day one of the ukulele. This thing could probably be a lot more fun, um, or will be a lot more fun for me. But this is just like the day one of the ukulele. Kind of doing a lot of comparison to this because it's the instrument I play. I also did. This is technically my first instrument, or I should technically should be my third, because um, I technically had the drums beforehand, but they were kitty ones, and I played my brother's guitar for a little bit. Uh, the drums, like I said, I really don't play them for like three weeks because I didn't really get much of anywhere. I mean, I'm not going to be some famous Beatle guy who's going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to become a rock star, man, come up with all these famous songs and beats or whatever. No, that's not happening. The guitar, on the other hand, this is the reason why I got the ukulele, actually, is because I can actually fit my hand around it and put my hand like this, where you need to get the frets the right way so you don't have it on the other, on the other, on one of the strings when you're going in for a, uh, I don't even know what they're called, beats, strokes, no, uh, I learned in math today, chokes, no, uh, I, I don't know, the, the, whatever, I don't care, whatever you have to do when you have to put two fingers down, but, but, but anyway, my hands are too small for the guitar, so I kind of give up on that. So this this kind of gave me the idea. So steel drum, that's kind of what my opinion on it is. 
I would really like to play it. I like the sound of it. I like the ukulele to a certain extent. Not to the point where I'm loving it like Japanese. It would be like, uh, I guess it would be to get a cheap French textbook to see if I would like to learn a language and then bump up and then pump in all the money to Japanese. If that makes any sense. So in this, in this scenario with the ukulele being the cheap one because it was only 35 bucks, that's expensive, but not for an instrument. And it'd be like pumping 35 bucks into this and then spending 250 bucks plus onto the on the drum set. Also, it'd be kind of cool to be, like I said in my last video, if you watched the entire thing, or actually, no, that might have been a revision that I never said. My idea was I could be like the Owl City guy who plays the ukulele and the, that beat and then kind of mix them all together. Who knows? Be interesting. Um, yeah, that's kind of the in, the instrument phase I'm in right now. I'm also I'm still in the language stuff. I'm still learning that, man. I'm still I'm just kind of slowed down with self study on that. Oh man, I've been talking for so long right now, and like, well, it's just long stuff, man. Okay, right, anyway, iPad. Um, so in comparison to that, is uh, I use my I, I use my iPhone like all the time, man. Um, so that'd be very interesting. I wouldn't get the 3G version. Um. It would be like more of like a, 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 maybe a tablet, well it is a tablet, a tablet that would take to and from school because the school has Wi-Fi so I can do all the Google Docs and etc on that. It would be really good. Uh, I know on, on screen keyboard uh, is kind of bad and sucky, but if I spend an extra 60 bucks I can do a Bluetooth keyboard so it's not all that bad. Um, and that comes with the dock like on the keyboard, so yeah. You can do that. So that's kind of interesting. Um, the, uh, the, the, the downside of the iPad though is... Um, really expensive it's it's five hundred dollars to get a 16 gig one which is the exact same capacity as my phone oddly enough um so that's kind of like meh and um i mean capacity wise i mean the ipad's just doing documents essentially and facebook and blah not really not intense stuff i'm not, I'm not doing game on or whatever i have an xbox for that not ps3 anymore <laughs> I'm gonna be a Japanese kid. Or peace. Or it's not the Japanese one. Uh, oh, is it isn't like this or whatever. Oh yeah, it's it's it, it, for uh for K-pop and J-pop. They always go like this. I don't know why. It's like the heart thing. Um, they always go. They always bounce back and forth like that. Um, but I, that's kind of my signifier that I know too much about the uh, Asian pop. Because I watch so many music videos that I don't understand. <laughs> um, so, uh, iPad. Oh, that's what the iPad can do. <laughs> watch YouTube videos. That's, a, that's kind of actually a reason of portal YouTube. Um, so, I, I really don't know. I'm going to spread them between this. Because I have the money. I don't have the money yet for the iPad. But with, but with the confirmation money, I'm getting like the extra 200 bucks. I'll be able to set. Um, so, I, I honestly don't know. Um, the the I, I mean the iPhone I mean I don't even know anything about the iPad. If you have an iPod Touch, you know about the iPad. It's just an large iPod Touch. Essentially, all it, it would just be is being able to do it to and from as a computer. You have an excuse to use it as a computer in class. Um, so, I mean, on top of that, I mean you get games on it too. But I mean, meh. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, honestly, do you think I should go for the the my love for the steel drums, or should I go for the iPad? I mean, what seems more realistic? I mean, as a noob to instruments, who knows? I mean, who knows that I might absolutely hate it. I mean, I completely just jumped into Japanese, and I just happened to love it. I just happened to love it. I mean, I mean the same thing that happened to my brother. Is During, like, when he was 16, 17, he just tried all these new things. He liked magic. He liked, uh, um, he did magic. <laughs> he played guitar. So does the guitar. Um, and then he started photography. I mean, these were all lumps of faith for him. He just started with magic. He got over like $500 worth of DVDs and cards and all this other crap for magic. I mean, honestly, I could become like a huge magician right now uh, just by going in my closet and just start watching DVDs. Like, seriously, we have all that stuff. Um, and so he kind of gave up magic because he, he realized he couldn't make a profession out of that. Um, he still plays a guitar when he's home. He has a, a red acoustic one that I think he took back to college. Um, and, uh, the, uh, the, he's, a, he's, he's at a photographer school right now. I'm not going to tell you where, but he's at a photographer school and 
he, he loves it. Um, he's a really good photographer and he can make a living out of that, hopefully. Um, but who knows? I pray for him, man. I pray. I pray for my brother, man. He's so deep down in that stuff, man. He's chilling. He's chilling. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, to be quite honest, it really, it really depends on. I mean, I'm, I'm completely just throwing out ideas about why I should do this, uh, or why I should, because right? it, in a way, because he did the leads of face. He loved magic for the three years he did it, two and a half years he did it. He loved it. He had a great time with it. Um, but he never made out of that. He never continued after that. Uh, the guitar, I mean, he put a lot of effort in that. That was that. The guitar was actually before. Then he. It was like on high high eighties for that, or he just kind of stopped for some time. Did magic, then he kind of went back to that during magic, and then he's like went back to it for some time. Then he found photography, oddly enough, and uh, he he uh, now he's a photographer. Um, now I mean, who's to say that I don't fall in love with the drums? But then again, I might hate the drums. And the problem is, there's no way to get a cheap one of these. The cheap one is the two hundred and fifty dollar version. Like I would love to get a. The cheap version of it. I mean, this is a cheap uh, ukulele, but ukuleles are only like hundred bucks anyway. I want to see an electric two fifty one. But I mean, I really don't know. I mean, I really want to do the steel drums, but I really want the iPad. Um, but then again, I mean, I'm not, there's all these these agains because I mean they're they're both interesting objects, even though they're kind of like completely unrelated. I mean, I have an iPhone. I mean, who's to say I can't take up notes on this? Well, I can because it's a tiny screen. Um, and I kind of need the battery life for my phone because the iPhone by itself, if it, if I have notifications on throughout the day, I have fifty percent by the end of like seven o'clock at night, and that's when I'm home and I can charge it. So like fifty percent of the battery is done, and I haven't done anything on the phone. I might like the phone will vibrate in school, and I'll check an email, and that's about it, and then it'll just continue to refresh. So I get all the notifications when I'm going out of school, and I just go through the apps and just see what's new. Besides that, I really don't do anything on it. Um, I just like it for the status updates and everything. Um, so, I mean, really, what do you guys think? Should I go for the uh, the drums or should I or the drum, the steel drum, or the uh, the iPad? I mean, I mean, no way. I mean, you like the stereotype of always go for your dreams and whatever. I mean, in the case that would be relevant in this one, because I really, really like the sound of the drums, and I'm, I'm I mean. And I didn't do a leap of faith before, and I found something that I really love, language. Um, but I, uh, but who's to say? I mean, on day one, I mean, I spent three hours trying to get this thing to work, and this isn't even my, you know, this isn't my even my type of instrument. Like I said, I'm not having not having fun. It's just this isn't the 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 dream instrument I want to play. It's just kind of get me into it. The, the problem though is that only my parents see that. The, uh, this, I mean, in a way, they're related because they're an instrument, and you have to put devoted time to it. But the issue with drums is different. Drums is beat, which I like. This is yeah, this is fun. I like. I like. I want to be able to put Super Mario Brothers theme on this. But the uh, this is more, much more difficult for me than batting down. Not saying steel drums are not going to be any more difficult than this, or even more. But yeah, this is supposed to be an easy instrument, you know. <laughs> And I've struggled even just trying to get the thing to tune right. No, but then again, this is supposed to be the hardest part. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess the, for like the fourth time I'm going to say this, why I really should have been in the video, is should I go for the steel drums? Should I go for the iPad? Now, it's going to be the iPad 2 16 gig one or a, or a steel drum. You tell me, guys. Uh, that would really help me. Um... I mean, like I said in the beginning of the video, it'd probably be too late anyway. But I still want to just hear you what you guys think. I mean, honestly, it, it it would interest me what you guys would think. I mean, should I just go for the more the more useful item, or should I actually just try to go for? It? I mean, I think like a morality thing is morality. I'd be like, yeah, go for the drums because it's your dream. But I don't know. I mean, what just seems more logical to you guys? Um, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I think I'm going to make another video because I just feel like doing that, man. And uh, uh, so, anyway, dude, I'm going to go in my hipster mode. So, like, yo, dog, should I go for the steel drums or should I go for the iPad? One's my dream, one's more useful. What should I do, man? What should I do? What should I do? Thanks for watching.